Good afternoon, and welcome to another overwrought version of Diatribes from the Voice of Doom. Now here's your overtaxed and overrated host, Voice of Doom. <laughs> Hello. All right, I decided to do another diatribe to uh, comment on the latest uh, assassination attempt on Orangey, and I figure if I have to do a diatribe every time they try an assassination attempt, I'll be doing one every day, I guess. But I'll just talk about it a bit. I really don't see the point of me going on with diatribes. I mean, my point has been made, and there's not much more to say except let's just wait and for the end. Um, <clears throat> what is this, September 17th? So we have about, what, four, five, six, seven, maybe seven weeks or so. Um... 49 days till this so-called election. Now, as we get closer and closer, it's like heading closer and closer to the sun. Things just get worse and worse. Until it's unbearable and everything melts and the earth disintegrates. But uh, still, it's a crapshoot. It's a gamble for me personally. Since I firmly believe we're doomed it's hard for me to do the regular things to sustain life such as paying bills it really galled me that I paid my uh, property tax yesterday because I figured I could have done more with that money to enjoy myself then give it to the constabulary, give it to Mr. Bobo. Now I realize that we need stop signs and stop lights and people to paint the sidewalks, crosswalks or what have you. I realize that. I just feel like the property tax is rather exorbitant. Um, it's just me and but I also am in the process of changing my cable provider or my internet provider made a mistake of going to Walmart at the wrong time and some guy was in the electronics section saying how much do you pay for your internet and I go hundred dollars and he's like what that's ridiculous and he says you know he can do it for half price so since I've been trying to cut costs in anticipation that the world doesn't come to an end and I realize if I have to keep on going like I'm going then I'm gonna have to cut costs because I can't keep doing it by myself so I'm in the process of changing from AT&T to Spectrum and I hope it's not a bad thing because AT&T has been pretty damn reliable as far as me being online and if I'm offline, I get nothing. I have to go to the radio. So <clears throat> I rely on the internet. And I'm taking a big chance changing my carrier. But be that as it may, I'm walking the fine line between not giving a crap. Because we're all doomed. Or we may not all be doomed and we may have to go on and keep paying our bills so that's the way that goes it's very difficult um but let's get back to orangey now i'm watching youtube and all of a sudden i see some feeds about gunshots at a golf course near miralago okay there was some gunfire near the president uh, ex-president well, he was playing golf. All right, that's the first thing you hear. The second thing you hear is, 
it was random gunfire it might have something to do with just uh, gang activity because there was multiple gunshots and then the next thing you hear is well that neighborhood is not exactly uh, rife with gang activity so it might have been something else and then a few hours later it's like yeah some guy had a high-powered rifle pointed at the president while he was golfing and was about to take a shot when he was shot at and he fled now there's multiple gunshots and he fled okay so the next thing you hear is yes there was an attempt arrest has been made due to the diligence of a onlooker who got his license number when he fled after dropping the weapon so he drops the weapon they recover the weapon and then he's caught and when you see him when he's caught he has a smirk on his face and he looks very cavalier like nothing bad is going to happen to me because whatever he's thinking so my first thought about that is this guy's an attention seeker from what I heard preliminary background on this Roche or whatever the Roach whatever his name is he's been in trouble pretty much most of his adult life and he's always been an attention seeker and he's always trying to do this or that that's the impression I got I want to be famous I've grown up with the internet and social media and I want to be famous and I want people to know who I am too so I don't know if it was politically motivated but there are manifestos and they're making no secret about trying to uncover all that and they're not trying to cover anything up so who knows all I know is that by two days later which it is now the info is the guy was laying in wait for a few hours, like seven, eight hours, laying in wait at this golf course for the president to show up and uh, tee off. And uh, that means he must have known in advance that the ex-prez Orangey was going to be there. Which means it's another inside job, which means we will learn nothing. And they're just going to keep taking shots at him until they get their um, wish. Because, as I've said previously, they're not going to allow Orangey to get a second term. Because that just delays their plan. And by hook or crook, they will get rid of him. I hate to say that, because it only means mayhem, but that's what we're looking at. So, rather than continue on this uh, assassination business, I want to talk about straws because I think I titled this one, um, I don't know, something like there will be uh, the last straw or whatever. I don't know what I was going to call it. The final straw will come. I don't know, but... Uh, they throw a lot of straws on the camel's back, and that's why they get that saying, and uh, sooner or later, the camel buckles. And it's just one last straw that finally did him in. Um, and I'm seeing a lot of last straws coming uh, in the way of uh, basically immigrants taking over this country, literally. And it's not the good ones. It's not the ones that want to start businesses. It's not immigrants that are multi-millionaires that want to start businesses and hire 10 or 20 Americans to work it. No, it's being taken over by the worst of the worst criminals on this planet. So that's just beautiful. If you look at what's happening in New York City, if you look at what hap happens in all these major cities, if you look at what happens in Aurora, Colorado, if you look at what happens in Texas or what have you it's just getting worse and worse and worse till finally the last straw has been flung onto the back of the camel and the camel buckles and then there's going to be all hell break loose 
I mean, people are going to go at each other, and then they won't want to, won't be able to differentiate who's a good immigrant, who's a bad immigrant. They'll just do it on their looks alone, and it'll become a race war, just like Manson said 50 years ago, predicted race war. There's going to be people shot all over the place. There's going to be all kinds of bloodshed, and the justice system will go after some people and not go after others, like they always have. So it's going to be utter mayhem. They can't keep going like they're going. you got to watch Cash Jordan and these other uh, channels that talk about what's happening to the city. The liberal idiots are still going to vote liberal and they're saying you know we don't want these low cost housings to be built here in our park where we've been enjoying life it's like yeah we want to take care of immigrants but we don't want to take care of them in our neighborhood we want them taken care of in their neighborhood we want to enjoy our parks and our open spaces in New York it's becoming a joke. People want to pay $5,000 a month for a little room. For what? There's nothing there anymore. What, so they can see plays? you got to have another five or $600 just to sit in the balcony at a, at a show in New York. Or go to the restaurants where you're going to get robbed if you're on a sidewalk cafe. Why would anybody want to live there and they're paying $5,000 a month for a little bedroom? $2 million for an old Soho loft. Come on. Nobody's going to want to live there. Why would they want to pay that much money? So, the point is there's going to be straws. I guess the tie-in is the Haitians eating their dogs and cats in Springfield and now Springfield's all up in arms. Why do you malign our city, our, our town, our nice town of 50,000 that became 70,000 when they shuttled in 20,000 Haitians into a city of 50,000 which would be like doing it to Carson City which would co cause just utter chaos it would just be unacceptable. I mean, I don't know what they're thinking. But they're almost doubling their population with foreign people that eat cats and dogs. And there's no getting around it. They can't have the ducks and swans out of the park. Then they'll take the cats and dogs. And it doesn't matter. Who's 20,000? 200 people out of the 20,000 are eating cats and dogs. That's enough. And then Orangey and Vance have to bring that up. There's millions of things you can complain about. Don't talk about cats and dogs and Haitians. It just gives the idiot liberals fodder. To say you brought it on yourself by being a racist, so you deserve to be shot at. That's what the press is doing. That's exactly what they're doing. So, I hope it all comes home to roost on their head. Since the straws need to be flung, I hope a few straws are flung toward MS and CN and AB and C and D and L. Because they need a few straws thrown at them as they leave their buildings and get mobbed. That'd be cool. By Haitians looking for their dogs. So we'll leave it there. I could say more, but I won't. I think I got my point across, and I don't think I made one. So thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you later, if there is one. Bye.